Hey there everyone, this is your daily dose of medicine. In this video, we will talk about kidney stones. Stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'll give answers to the most commonly asked questions. Your kidneys remove waste and fluid from your blood to make urine by using ureter and bladder. Sometimes when you have too much of certain waste and not enough fluid in your blood, this waste can build up and stick together in your kidneys. And these clumps of waste are called kidney stones. Let's talk about the pain. You will feel the pain along your side and back below your ribs when you have kidney stone and it may radiate to your belly and groin area as the stone moves down through your urinary tract. The pain can be unbearable, coming in waves until the tiny stone passes through your urinary plumbing and out of the body. Anyone can get a kidney stone, but some people are more likely than others to have them. For example, men get kidney stones more often than women do. And in this slide, we will talk about the risk factors. You are more likely if you have had kidney stones before. If someone in your family has had kidney stones, you don't drink enough water. If you follow a diet high in protein, sodium and or sugar, because these products are making the stones. If you are overweight or obese, you will be more likely. And if you have a very small kidney stone that moves easily through your urinary tract, you may not have any symptoms and may never know that you had a kidney stone. And in this slide, we will talk about the symptoms. You can feel pain in the back, belly or side. You can feel nausea and vomiting, pain while urinating, blood in your urine, chlorine or full smelling urine. And if you are having any of these symptoms, please contact your healthcare provider. Your doctor might ask you to have a urine test, blood test, x-ray and or CT scan. The most important thing about kidney stones, both preventing and treating, is drinking water. Drinking as much as 1.8 to 3.6 liters a day will keep your urine dilute and may prevent stones forming. Lifestyle strains and stresses are a big cause of kidney stone formation, often combined with chronic dehydration. We talked about the importance of water and the hydration occurs when you use or lose more fluid than you take in and your body doesn't have enough water and other fluids to carry out its normal functions. That's why drinking water is so important. What dissolves kidney stones fast? We will answer the questions about kidney stones and this is the first one. Lemon juice can do it, basil juice, apple cider vinegar, celery juice, Pomegranate juice can do it. And oxalate-rich foods such as nuts and certain vegetables coupled with a diet that's high in protein, sodium, and sugar may increase calcium in the kidneys and subsequently raise the risk of kidney stones. Another question, are kidney stones and UTI related? Of course it is because people with blockage in their urinary tracts, such as kidney stones, are more likely to get UTIs. Large prostate gland in a man can also block the flow of urine and also can cause a urinary tract infections. And most stones will pass on their own without treatment, but However, you may need a procedure to break up or remove stones that don't pass. If your stone has not passed, if the stone in ureter doesn't pass in a reasonable time or is causing pain 
or infection, you will need a surgery to remove it. Also, ACVL therapy, which is a shock therapy, uses sound waves to create strong vibrations that break the stone into tiny pieces that can be passed in your ear. And that is the end of the video. If you find it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. Take care.